Alrighty, so 4.6 doesn't come out until the 24th of April. So that's well over a week to start pre-farming for Arlequino. Now, is that enough time to actually pre-farm her? Maybe not, but it's definitely enough time to get at least most of it. So, without further ado, this is going to be a video on everything you need to do to pre-farm for Arlequino, because that's the best way to build and get ready for these characters, so that you have them ready right as soon as they drop. Starting off with Ascension materials. Firstly, the boss material, you're of course going to need 46 of, but this you actually can't farm right now. You're going to have to wait until this golem thingy drops when 4.6 comes out. The best way to do this is just save your fragile resin for when that happens. So then you can just farm the boss right away. Moving on, you're going to need at least one of the pyro slivers. This is the two star one. And then you're going to want nine of the pyro fragments, the three star ones. And then you're going to want nine of the pyro chunks. These are the four star ones. And then you're going to want six of the pyro gemstones. These are the five star ones. And then you're going to want 168 rainbow roses. Now you can go to the interactive map and find the locations of each one of these. Or you could just take a look at this screenshot that I took. So you don't have to go there yourself. Now the best way to do this is to farm it right now. And then you can either wait until they respawn. And that should give you plenty. There is plenty on the map that you'll get at least half of them. Or if you wanted to, you could join other people's worlds and take their roses. But be sure to ask nicely because it's kind of rude to just take their stuff. Now as for enemy materials, you're going to make sure... You have 18 of the one star insignias. And then you're going to want 30 of the two star insignias. And then you're going to want 36 of the three star insignias. This is for Ascension. You're going to need more for when we talk about talents. So I'll add those up for you when I get to it. All right. So the total Mora you're going to need for everything. This is including ascension cost level up cost and even talent cost is going to be three million seven hundred forty five thousand and thirty quite a lot of mora but don't worry in fact there is ley line overflow so it is now a good time to start farming your xp books and mora now since we are talking about xp books let me tell you everything you need you're gonna want at least 421 purple books or 1,676 blue books. Quite a lot of books, but again, now is an easy time to start farming. Now moving on to talents. Of course, just like boss materials for ascending Arlequino, we can't exactly get the, the boss mats for her talents just yet. But for the talent mats themselves, you're going to want 9 of these 2-star teaching of orders. You're going to want 9 of these you're going to want 63 of the three star guide to orders. And then you're going to want 114 of the four star version philosophies of order. Now, of course, right here, it says these are farmable on Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday. So be sure to be ready on those days and have your resin right away and just farm these out. Now, for more of the insignias or talents, at least you're going to want 18 of the one star insignias. You're going to want 66 of the two star insignias. And then you're going to want 93 of the three star insignias. Now for total insignias, that makes 36 of the one star insignias. And then 96 for the two star insignias. And then 129 of the three star insignias. Those are the total amount that you're going to want to farm for talents and leveling our Lakino up. And of course, you're going to want three crowns to get her talents to 10, obviously. So yeah, that makes everything you're going to need for our Lakino. So let's hope you have at least a lot of the stuff required for our Lakino when she comes out. Again, make sure you save a lot of your fragile resin or the boss materials because you're going to really want that. Don't waste your resin on the talent farm days because if you don't you're gonna miss those days 
And then of course, make sure you have enough of the books and Mora for when she comes out. You definitely should. So I hope this video was very helpful. May all of our Arlequino polls be very blessed and we all have a good day for when she comes out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys later. Ah! Oh my god!